talk about the many different uses for a parting tool. Parting tools come in different sizes as well as different styles. Many novices make the mistake of believing that a parting tool's sole purpose is to separate a finished project from the rest of the spindle. But that's just one of the uses of this very versatile tool. Let's look at some of the others. The first thing we have to understand is the different ways we can make the cut with a parting tool. The first would be a shearing cut where we place the tool onto the rest, allow the bevel to ride, and then lift the handle and allow the tool to cut into the wood. Let's take a closer look at this cut. Again, let the tool rest on the tool rest, we ride the bevel, then we lift the handle and make the cut. This is a very aggressive cut, and as you can see, it tears the fibers up along the edge. Another method of making a cut would be to put the tool on the rest, parallel to the ground, and keep it this way, and simply to go straight into the wood. This would be a scraping cut. Let's take a look at the scraping cut. As you can see, the scraping cut on the right is a lot less aggressive and it leaves a much cleaner edge on entering. Both of these cuts serve a purpose. It all depends on your particular needs in any given project. You can actually combine both of these cuts. You can go straight in to minimize tear out and then lift the tool and do a shearing cut. Here's how it's done. So now you have the benefits of both types of cuts. There's also a cut where we can lay the tool on its side and go with the point almost straight in. We can use this cut for making ornate lines. Now let's look at some of the different uses for our parting tool. One would be for cutting tenons on a spindle before mounting it to a chuck. We could cut stray tenons or we can make them dovetail. Another use of the tool would be to square off the end of a spindle that's mounted on a chuck. would be to help us make convex or concave cuts into a piece of wood, commonly known as beads and coves. It's much easier to finish a cut going into the air than it is to go into wood. So we use the parting tool to create some space. Now we have room at the end of the cut 
for a spindle gouge to easily make the beads and coats. we made with our parting tool made it much easier to create this shape. Yet another use of the parting tool would be to make cuts in the wood to a specific dimension. In this case I've set my calipers to exactly one inch. Let's take a look at how we make the cut. Let the calipers ride gently on the piece of wood. Start to make our cut. And now we have our wood size to the proper dimension. We can repeat the process. And now we can cut our bead or cove to a specific depth. We can even use a parting tool for clearing out a lot of wood. So as you saw, the parting tool is truly a versatile tool that can do many jobs once you understand how to use it. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay safe in the shop.